Officials in a southern Indiana community continued to sort out moments of mayhem that sent six people to the hospital. A Sunday afternoon fire escalated to something even worse when two emergency vehicles responding to that call collided. As News 10's Mike Grant tells us, investigators are still looking for all the answers. This apartment building doesn't show it, but Sunday's bad events began here. A fire call led firefighters inside the burning apartment of Arthur Radcliffe. We were able to go into the uh, apartment where the uh, gentleman was, and they were actually able to rescue him from the, from the apartment prior to the fire being extinguished by the engine company. Firefighters are still sorting out the fire cause, just like authorities are trying to figure out the details of a crash involving a fire department rescue truck and an ambulance that both had lights and sirens on heading to the fire scene. Fire officials say the crash brought out all hands to help. We had a lot of support from the available companies from the other departments that weren't uh, assigned to the incidents that were ongoing. Firefighters Nicholas Hostetler and Justin Lowe, along with ambulance personnel Eric Decker, Joseph Millspaw Jr. and Christina Witterade were all injured. It's obvious that this vehicle is not going to be put back into service anytime soon. So the fire department is busy trying to come up with some kind of replacement as quickly as possible. In the meantime, emergency personnel in the area are breathing a sigh of relief. Fortunately for us, uh, all the fire department personnel and our people it came out of it pretty well okay. Police investigators say they hope to have their answers on the crash by the time the injured responders all return to work. In Vincennes, I'm Mike Grant, News 10. Fire investigators say they still need to talk with the apartment resident before they can close their investigation. He is currently being treated for burns at Wishard Hospital in Indianapolis.